Hello, if you've just bought a sub 250 gram drone and you're wondering what you need to do next, then this is the video for you. I see so many posts on social media from people asking what they need to do now they have bought a new drone that I decided to put together this simple to follow video taking you through all the steps that you need to complete if you're in the UK. So if you've just bought a sub 250 gram drone with a camera the only thing you have to do is register as an operator. Just go to this website, click on the link, answer all the questions have your debit or credit card ready to pay the fee of £11.13. You don't have to complete the flyer ID test, but I fully recommend that you do. It's free. If you read the drone code, it's a very simple test and could be completed by my niece's hamster. I have put all the links in the description below. Once you have done all this, you can fly closer than 50 metres to people and you can fly over them but you cannot fly over crowd. Completing the flyer ID test and reading the drone code will put all this into context. Do you need insurance? It depends on the places that you want to fly, but I would fully recommend that you have some kind of insurance in place. FPV UK is a great organisation for you to belong to and will cover you for public liability up to five million pounds, but it will not cover you for your own equipment. At a cost of £24.99 a year, it's well worth it. Cover Drone is a great insurance company that will cover you for public liability and your own equipment. The cost will vary depending on what you want to be insured for, so it's well worth a look and it will give you peace of mind. I would also recommend that you download the Drone Assist app to your phone and this will give you detail of where you can and can't fly. For example, airfields, military bases, or where there's some um, temporary flight restrictions in place. So what next? Go fly. Thanks for watching.